Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding algebraic fractions with algebraic linear denominators. Now hopefully you know how to add fractions together, but let's just recap that. If we added two normal fractions, then the quick way we can do it is to multiply the two denominators. So we multiply the 3 and the 5 to get 15. And then we do something called cross multiply. So we cross multiply the numerators. So we do the 2 times the 5, which is 10, in a kind of diagonal fashion, and the 4 times the 3, so we put the plus in the middle, plus 4 times the 3 is 12. So we get this kind of cross in the middle, that's why it's called cross multiplying, and then that would give you 22 over 15, which is the final answer. Now we can use exactly the same principle with algebraic fractions. Just because they're algebraic, that doesn't change maths, we still add fractions in exactly the same way. So. We're going to multiply the denominators first, so 6x plus 1 times 5x minus 3. And in case you're wondering, should we multiply these out? There's no reason to multiply out the brackets. It's no simpler expanding it out than leaving it in factorised form like that. But then we do need to cross-multiply with the numerators. So we do that times that in a diagonal fashion. I'm not going to expand it out yet. I'm just going to write 3 times... 5x minus 3. Never use the time symbol in algebra. Always use brackets to have the multiplication of two things. Then we've got the plus in the middle and then this other diagonal to form the cross, 8 times 6x plus 1. Now, although we don't need to multiply out the denominators because it's factorised, it's something times something, we should multiply out the numerators because it's not factorised. This is an addition of two things. That's not a factorisation. Even though these individual parts of it might be factorised, the overall expression is not because there's a plus in the middle, not a times. And by expanding this out, we can subsequently simplify by collecting like terms. So if we do that, 3 times 5x is 15x, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, 8 times 6x is plus 48x, and 8 times 1 is 8. And the bottom we're just going to leave as it is. And then our final answer, if we collect like terms, 15x plus 48x is 63x. And minus 9 plus 8 is minus 1. Leave the denominator as it is. And that is the final answer.